Hey everyone, it's Green Dot Emo, and this is another unboxing video. Now, to celebrate Persona 5 Strikers being released, since there was no collector's edition or still book, I decided to do my little Persona 5 slash Persona 5 Royal collection that I have. So let's start off with this really super cool Futaba Figma action figure. Now this was actually gifted to me. Um, it is one of my favorite Persona 5 characters. Um, her personality is just like totally me. So <laughs> this is why we just click. But this figure, um, as you can see, it's already out of the box and there's loads of like little parts and stuff. So I didn't really want to put it back into the box to unbox it. But you get a bunch of like different hand positions, um, different like faces and stuff. So let me show you what position I have at the moment. And as you can see, it's on like a little stand as well. So she currently resides next to my TV. Well, between my TV and my PS5. But yeah, it's such a cool figure. I was super happy when I got this. Um, it's so cute as well. It's not too big as well as you can see from the size of my hands with the figure. Probably about eh, 10 inches maybe. Um, but yeah, you can see with the, um, the stand, you can put it in different positions as well. But yeah, this is Futaba, the Figma uh, action figure. But now, let's move on to pop vinyl. So I am a huge collector of pop vinyls. Um, so I have like over a hundred at the moment and it's still growing. But let's start off with Mona. So I think, I believe this one I did get at the London Comic Con, um, MCM. And as you can see, there's like four to collect from this pack, but um, I'm missing Skull. So I need to try and acquire that. If anyone knows where I can get Skull, Queen, and um, uh, Yusuke, then uh, yeah, let me know. Um, on the box as well, take your heart. This is one thing I love about the pop vinyl boxes for the, the Persona series. You've got that little detail on the box plus the Phantom Thieves logo as well. Um, but yeah, let's have a look at Mona itself. And um, yeah, very cute little, um, I'd say cuddly, but there's no fur. It would be pretty cool to have a, um, a flopped one of this actually. But um, yeah, the detail on this is pretty cool as well. At the back, you've got a little buckle from the costume that he's wearing. But yeah, that's one thing I really love about Funko Pop Vinyls is the detail. Like, I don't buy every single pop vinyl. But I do buy the ones that I think look really awesome and has really cool detail. Now Mona does have a little plastic stand, um, which I forgot to show, but the other two do have it as well. So I'll show you that in a moment. So here's Panther, aka Lady Arm, uh, Mona's true love. <laughs> but um, yeah, Panther is super awesome as well. Um, again, the detail is so cool. So let's have a look at that. Again, same detail on the box as well. But yeah, if I can get those other three pop vinyls, that would be amazing. But um, yeah, they're not really sold in the UK, if I'm not mistaken. So it's going to be like an import job, or if someone knows where I can get them. <laughs> but yeah, Panther is so cool. I mean, the colours are so vibrant. Um, they've got everything right on this. I love the hair as well. Just the detail in the hair. Her little pigtails. So cool. And then you've got her um, little whip as well, which does actually move. It's quite um, loose. I mean, it's secured firmly in her hand, but you can move the whip a little bit, as you can see. Now, if I was to try and stand her alone, definitely would not work. Just quite a lot like a lot of the, uh, the female pop vinyls. But um, yeah, you've got the stand there which you can just pop them on and then it will keep them nice and secure and steady on your shelf um, yeah so that's panther essentially uh, super cool but it's time that we moved on to the main event my other favorite character of the persona 5 series and that is the one the only joker which in the game I gave him the name Harley because I really like the name Harley so his name was Harley <laughs> but yeah this is not the chase edition so there is a chase edition but he's not with the chase edition he's not wearing the the Phantom Thieves mask his persona mask um, 
so his face is just quite plain actually but yeah it's the chase that is out there somewhere again if i could get my hands on that whew, heaven but yeah this one looks really cool though i really do like the mask on him anyways but this pop vinyl does have again so much detail to the costume and you've also got the stand for him as well again he he, he can kind of stand ish but um he does need to stand but yeah so you can see the detail on him here on his hair and his jacket from the back and then on his face you can see the mask great detail um, and then you've got the dagger as well his red gloves such iconic costume <laughs> and then yeah you can see the detail there but yeah as you can see he can, he can kind of like if you you can balance him a little bit but he does definitely need to stand if you want him to stand up straight the whole day essentially but yeah that is basically joker so those are the three uh pop vinyls that i do have from funko for the persona 5 but now let's get to the main attraction which is the persona 5 royal collector's edition on ps4 which i managed to acquire last year definitely helped me through the first shocking part of the lockdown <laughs> um yeah i got a lot of hours into that i think i clocked in about 120 odd hours or so something crazy <laughs> but yeah you can see from um the box here i've taken the slipcase off it's a really nice box so it's something that you can keep stuff in say for example if you didn't keep the collector's edition in there um so it's nice it's a nice keepsake essentially but yeah it's really cool artwork on the box as well even on the back and the sides but yeah let's um open this bad boy up so I have opened it up before, I've seen everything, but I do keep everything together, so I just wanted to show everyone what it looks like. So on the front we have the still book for the PS4 game. So we have the cool slip cover here. And it does come with a free dynamic theme as well. So I'll show you like the spine and the, the back of the slip case. And then I'll show you the still book. Sweet. now let's get inside now this is a store book amazing artwork as usual um, it's a glossy finish on this on the still book as well um, and this, this is the spine and then on the back of the still book is the same artwork that was on the slip case now I mean the artwork is just one of the main things I love about persona um, but yeah, I've just taken this off camera quickly so I can just double check that the code isn't showing even though I've used it <laughs> But yeah, I wanted to show you the inside of the store book as well because again the artwork is just so cool So it's the same artwork that's on the box So you can have a little look at that And that's essentially the store book to keep everything nice and tidy and neat. Cool, now let's move on to another main attraction of the game, the soundtrack. Now, I honestly don't know anyone who does not like the Persona 5 soundtrack. Persona 5 and Persona 5 Royal. Now, this is the track list that's on there. Again, this, uh, this came out before all of the playlists and stuff um, that came out on Spotify, so I had to do the old good rip CD and then transfer to your phone <laughs> but yeah that's essentially the uh, soundtrack now we're gonna go into the art book now the cool thing about this art book is that it's quite large normally you get like an A5 art book or so but this one is I believe about A4 uh, and then it's also uh, hardback as well so that's cool normally they give you like a paperback version so having a hardback still book is really good but yeah let's just have a quick look of some of the artwork inside um, I won't show you everything um, I was lucky enough to actually um, <laughs> pick the pages that have my favorite characters on there I'm not saying I don't like the other characters but these were you know my three for Persona 5 Royal um, but yeah the artwork is amazing 
honestly persona is just whew. if you've never played it before please tell me why you haven't um <laughs> i know it's an rpg i know not everyone's into rpgs because of the time and how long it's going to take to play but trust me it's something you won't regret now here is the main attraction which is the well joker's mask so what they've done is they've packaged it into this nice little um, box it's actually packaged it um, packaged really um, nice and neatly as well with bubble wrap and stuff so this is why I haven't put it out yet because I don't have any space and I want to make sure that when I do display it, it is displayed perfectly so inside the box here like I said it's all packaged nice and neatly So the first bit is part of the stand. Now I haven't actually put this stand together. Um, doing it on camera will be the first time I'm doing it. So that's going to be cool. So that's the first part. And then you're going to slip that into another bit I'll show you in a moment. But let's have a look at Joker's mask. How amazing and cool is this? And the great thing is about this mask is that not only can you display it, but it's got some hooks on the side here and they give you a ribbon so you can actually wear the mask of course i've worn it come on guys <laughs> no pictures but um yeah it is so cool and the material of it as well it kind of feels like i know it's not um it's not like it's not porcelain but it's it's a really sturdy material it's not plastic um, but yeah so that was the ribbon that you could use on the back and then this is the other part of the stand as well so the clear bit that I showed you earlier, you're going to slip this into this piece here. Again, amazing artwork, never fail. But yeah, we just slip it in nice and easy and then we just pop the mask on. It's got like two little grooves in the uh, clear bit for the mask to actually sit in as well so it doesn't fall off. And there we have it, Joker's mask displayed out in the open sweet little zoom in there so <clears throat> hopefully you've all enjoyed this video and maybe it will encourage you to go out and play persona it is very easy to like get to grips with as well and then definitely play persona strikers i'm currently playing that at the moment and it's so much fun and it's just so good to be back with these characters again and then the music oh don't get me started <laughs> but um yeah if you enjoyed this video please hit the thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe and also ring that notification bell and please do let me know in the comments do you play persona who's your favorite characters and also i've like i said before i've got so many pop vinyls and some other collector's editions as well so if you wanted to see unboxings of those let me know in the comments and then maybe i can make this a more regular thing as i used to do unboxings on this channel before doing some gameplay videos as well so let me know thanks for watching and i'll see you next time <laughs>